The Secretary of State Blinken here in the U.S. says far too many Palestinians have been killed. Um, allies of Israel, strong allies, the strongest of allies, are questioning the legitimacy of how Israel is executing its war, even as, of course, they are appalled by what happened on October 7th. Should that impact Israel's actions? Should you take that into consideration? There's no secret sauce or secret uh, way to tweezer terrorists out of civilians if they use those civilians as uh, human shields. You know, in, the, in the, the reserve service, I served for decades as a commander of uh, missile rocket uh, hunter actions. I was very good at it. And I can tell you after decades of doing it, it's impossible. There's no way to tweezer out and just hit the terrorists if the terrorists are determined to kill their own Gaza citizens as a result of it. So we're gonna have to uh, do what we need to do. We're doing it as best as we can uh, to minimize casualties, but there's no magic wand. And if anyone has a magic wand, uh, let us know and we'll use it. Well, they look, that may be true. I mean, Hamas uses human shields and, and that's a, a war crime, but that doesn't absolve Israel of its duties under international law. And we're abiding to international law. So as you look, though, at public opinion of how Israel is executing this, and you have strong allies, there is a debate about aid to Israel attaching conditions, so many concerns here of Americans, including American taxpayers who have a say in this, about how this is being executed what do you say to them? Because they hear you saying that you are abiding, in your opinion, by international law, but they also hear other experts saying that you are not, and they do not feel that it is up to the standard that they would require. Well, I would say we're fighting your war because the West is next. And if we don't defeat Hamas, uh, you're gonna face Hamas-like organizations in the United States. It happened before. Uh, when the suicide terror started in the Middle East, it hit Manhattan. I was there uh, on uh, September 11th, uh, 2001. We're at the forefront fighting radical Islam terrorism. And, uh, you know, it's going to hit London, Paris, Madrid. How do I know? Because that's exactly what happened last time. And therefore, it's an American taxpayer's interest to back us fighting the war. We're not asking you to send uh, soldiers uh, and we're not asking you to fight our war, but I, I do think it uh, should be appreciated that we're fighting the global war on radical Islamic terror. Uh, Naftali Bennett, we do appreciate your time today. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you.